again. It's reading time. Today, we're going to read a book called My Little Sister Hugged an Ape. Now, this is a really good book to listen for rhyming words. Let's see if you can beat me. And actually, Miss Burke met the illustrator, and she signed the book, to, or he signed the book to us. It says, to Miss Burke's class, Kevin Hawks, and he drew a little dragonfly and a little teddy bear. See? There we go. All right, my little sister hugged and ate. You got, you listening, Nessie? Oh, I got my ears up. Here we go. My little sister hugged an ape and squeezed its tummy out of shape till it let out a burp with a horrible sound that knocked my poor sister right onto the ground. Got those rhyming words? Ape and shape, sound and ground. My little sister hugged a bug a mighty tiny thing to hug. It slipped from her arms and flew up her nose. Bugs prefer noses to arms, I suppose. Yes, yeah, bug and hug and nose and suppose. My little sister hugged a cow, but must have hugged it wrong somehow. It squirted its milk all over the place, soaking my sister's whole body and face. Yes, cow somehow, place, face. My little sister hugged a deer, but one of its horns got stuck in her ear. And she hung from the deer like a coat on a rack till the deer tipped its head and she fell on her back. A, B, C, golly gee, my sister's on a hugging spree. You got it, dear ear, rack, back. Oh, and don't forget, G, spree. My little sister hugged an eel. She liked its slippery, slimy feel. Look, it tied itself up in a long, icky knot and hung from her nose like a big glob of snot. Ooh. My little sister hugged a ferret, but hugging that ferret did nothing but scare it. So rather than hug it, she wore it instead as a soft fuzzy hat on the top of her head. Oh yes, eel feel, not and snot, and ferret scare it, and instead head. My little sister hugged a goat, which quickly removed its furry coat and galloped away in its underwear, leaving my sister just hugging some hair. Oh, I'm not gonna show you this picture. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, my sister's on a hugging spree. Okay. <laughs> Hug that hair right off him. Yes, and goat coat. Underwear and hair. My little sister hugged a hog who slipped as it waddled around in a bog and landed kerplunk with a thunderous thud on top of my sister in some soft gooey mud. Hog bog, mud and thud, yes. My little sister hugged an iguana. I can't imagine why she'd wanna. It almost kissed her, but oops. It missed her and kissed the poor ferret instead of my sister. Would you kiss a ferret? I wouldn't. No. I don't know where that ferret's been. It was kissing an iguana. 
My little sister hugged a jackal. She caught it with a flying tackle. The jackal was fast, but my sister was faster. She's a quick little hugger and nothing gets past her. Jackal tackle, uh-huh, and faster past her. She climbed in the pouch of a kangaroo and hugged it and hugged it on all of the babies there too. But the kangaroo hopped and she fell from its pouch and ended up hugging a pricker bush. Ouch! Yep, kangaroo too. Pouch and ouch. My little sister hugged a llama and all its brothers and sisters and mama. As well as its daddy and uncles and cousins, llamas prefer to be hugged by the dozens. My little sister hugged a moose. She was hugging its top when its bottom came loose. She picked up the pieces that fell on the floor and screwed them together and hugged it some more. Right, yes, llama, mama, cousins, dozens, moose, loose, Floor and more. Oh my goodness, his bottom fell off. His bottom fell off. I don't know if they want to be hugged. Yeah. My little sister hugged a newt who climbed in her mouth because it looked cute and crawled so far down that you could hardly spot him. All you could see sticking out was his bottom. She gave an octopus a hug. <clears throat> Those eight long arms fell nice and snug, gripping my sister at eight different spots and tangling themselves into eight different knots. Now, have any of you figured out that this is actually an ABC book also? We just did an N-word, newt, newt and cute. Spot and bottom, good. And then this is O-N-O, -O, octopus, which is hug and snug, spot and not. Remember, if you ever see the K before the N, the K is silent. Ooh, what letter's next? M-N-O, ooh, let's see. Then she hugged a porcupine. But the long prickly needles all over its spine kept poking the poor little newt in the rear till the newt ran away from my sister in fear. Yep, porcupine spine, rear and fear. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. My sister's on a hugging spree, hugging her away from A to Z. Oh, she's got P, M, N, O, P, Q. My little sister hugged a quail who tickled the octopus with its tail. And the poor ticklish octopus laughed till it cried and its eight ticklish arms came completely untied. My little sister hugged a rat. She hugged that rat till it was flat. Then she blew in its ear till it filled up with air and hugged it again with a little more care. Got those rhyming words? Do you have them? All right. Quail and tail cried untied. Rat flat air care. Oh, you might want to see it. Oh, it's back. Not letting us see the pictures. Goodness, it's taking a long time. My little sister hugged a skunk, who which could have been unpleasant except that it stunk. And the rat and the quail and the porcupine too all held their nose and all like, pew! My little sister hugged a toad. Be careful, it shattered or I'll explode. So she hugged a toad tightly, ra lightly rather than tightly, for toads that explode can be rather unsightly. Oh, yes. Skunk stunk to pee you. Toad explode tightly unsightly. Ooh, I don't want to see that. Next, she hugged an umbrella bird, but ended up looking a little absurd. 
for she hugged it so hard that the bird laid an egg, which broke into pieces and ran down her leg. She, my little sister hugged a vole who dragged her down his deep, dark hole. And she probably still would be stuck there if the ape hadn't lifted her out by the hair. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V. My sister's on a hugging spree. <laughs> My little sister hugged a worm, which might make other people squirm. Not my sister. It even kissed her. But a kiss from a worm doesn't bother my sister. She hugged an x-ray of a bear. It was only bones, no skin or hair. There's nothing to see or squeeze, she said with a shrug. It crumples right up when I give it a hug. Oh, she just did X. Oh, there's only two letters left. My little sister hugged a yak who climbed upon my sister's back. For the yak was the kind that hugs from behind. Yaks that hug frontwards are harder to find. She hugged a young zebra whose paint hadn't dried and wiped all the stripes from the poor zebra's hide. The zebra looked silly. Its stripes were all gone. But my sister looked sillier. She had them on. Ah, oh, she does look pretty silly. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. My little sister's on a hugging spree. Oh my gosh, she's hugging me! Oh, maybe some of you have a sister that likes to hug. Or maybe you are that sister who likes to hug. <gasps> Ed, what a great book. Now, what was your favorite letter? Hmm, respond.